All right, so Jamie asked. Jamie, yeah. Never again. <laughs> she's like, hey, you want to do one of those? My boyfriend does the uh, the nail design. And I'm like, all right, well, you don't want me involved because I'm very high concept. You're very nuts. So my high concept is I was looking at the way nails kind of go together. Like mine are really weird. I have corkscrew fingers so that my fingers lay together weird. But I was looking at my fingernails, not that I'm going to do polish because look at this hot mess. Um, but I thought, well, wouldn't yeah. it be crazy to do like a some kind of scene that all runs together? So what we're going to try and do, we're in the beta testing right now, is to do an undersea image of this is like if you're scuba diving or whatever and you're looking up. So here's the halo of the sunlight on the water and then fish. And so we think to get the effect, it's going to be blue foil. No, we don't think. You think. So we, meaning me, think that blue foil is this, the secret that's going to be the linchpin of the whole organization. Or it's going to be a disaster. So she's baking. Put your uh, guess in the comments below. <laughs> some testing with different bases. It's the first foil test was a complete disaster. That's pretty. So now the feeling is, is that there needs to be something underlayment here before the foil goes down. So there's that. Now the foil glue. That wasn't creepy at all, dear. What you doing? Baking that shit. Alright, we have foil. What do we know? This part's easy. It's keeping it on that's the problem. So first we're good. Okay. We looking at? So there's your foil. Oil doesn't last real long because it needs to be protected. I don't have the stuff to really protect it. So no matter what I put on here, it's going to start eating. Ooh, it's all taco time. It's just the regular glossing? Yes, that's all I have. Well, you had linear. I do, it's not on. You said a regular taco. You didn't say anything about a hollow taco. It's eating it. Mm -hmm. I knew that. Okay, so we tried the quick dry top coat, the rapid dry cheapo stuff first. LA colors. Dry it's just a rapid dry top coat. Look how watery it is. Now oh, the hollow taco is. This is definitely doing something to it, but it actually made it really pretty. My idea. <laughs> The sunburst. Yes. I think it's um, too yellow. Yeah, I had more white. Um, do a little swatchy paintbrush thing so I can see. I think so. We want it here. Right, close to the top of the nail. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Yeah, it looks like shit. Twice I've sworn in this video. So 
how come Stan got that way? So now it's going to be an edge around it, and then it's going to continue onto these two nails, making that arc. Perception goes with this light. <laughs> shade, but it's also going to protect the tips. Yeah, since this foil is going to go to hell. <laughs> yeah. Really got to do some major cleanup. <laughs> dry before I can draw. Fish. These Sally Hansen nail art pens apparently are going to get some action. Because after she does clean up, the next trick is to paint or not paint, but draw on some fish in the style of like goldfish crackers, I think. Fish silhouettes. Mm -hmm. For the sake of continuity, Jamie is still doing cleanup. And also coming up later in this episode, there's a plan for her thumbnail. Mm -hmm. It's not immediately clear if you need to use the top coat or not. And I'm kind of doing this in reverse because I started talking before I hit record. So, and at issue is whether or not she's going to do top coat of some sort first and then do the fish. Nope, fish seem okay. It's like the fish seem all right just as is. Unfortunately, I only know how to make one kind of fish. That's fine. What's well, a school? So if I go to school, I'll learn how to draw fish? You know, drama and formation, like saying no food or drink allowed in the theater. Or directions to the EAC. Or back off, fella, I was asking the lady. whole nail here. This is really a mess. Down the green on the... All over my thumb. Yep. Literally all over my thumb. Alright, the thumb is foiled. Curses. Mm -hmm. Foiled again. Unfortunately, I broke this nail. 
couple weeks ago. Don't have a lot to work with here. Now what do you get to do to me? Well, now that depends. Oh, God, help me. Look like I'm water marbling. <laughs> oh, it's drag marble. something? I almost wonder if it needs like a black outline. Black or white? Uh, either one. Black and white. Okay. Come on. It's pretty. I just like it because it's hollow. favorite polishes. Definition on the shark fin. Shark fin, hoo ha ha. Does he need, well, shark fin wouldn't have anything else on it. I'm no. like, does he need gills? <laughs> Don't put that on the shark fin. No, that's fine. All right, so I think we got our design now, so now it's time to top it off. Seal it in? Yep. I can't find it. There's too many bottles. I'm going to need more of this. <laughs> Christine! Restock. needs to uh, I'll give it about 10 minutes because it's a lot of layers mm -hmm. all right oh, it is. all right so here's the finished design so never mind that this video is not going up for a time but she's got the nails on Instagram uh, Twitter and Facebook what are you putting on Instagram? Yes. Oh. Three. Okay. Multi platforms. Okay. I have to do my other hand because right now it looks like shit. All right, so now is a good time to explain what was supposed to happen as opposed to what had ended up happening. What was supposed to happen? The whole concept. Oh, here. my concept was I put out all my nail polishes in rows and then I put all my top coats and glitters in rows and I was just going to have them pick a number. Two numbers of nail polish, one for each hand, and then like a glitter or something for on top of each one. And instead he said, I have an idea. And ended up with this. Which is cool. Except doing this with my hand is starting to really hurt, but it's the only way to make the shark go. Do 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 mm -hmm. do 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 When's Shark Week? Every week now. I don't know why I'm constantly putting animals on my hands. Okay, so anyway, I had him pick colors 
Anyway, just see what he picked. And he picked this pretty chrome purple and this pretty holographic purple. Isn't that weird? And then, um, hey, there's balls in here. I didn't know that. I don't know what this was. Oh, I asked if you wanted to put something over this, but I don't know that, that it needs it. We'll see. So anyway, I'm going to do this one as a... Uh... Accent. Yeah. Accent. Okay. And then both hands will be done. What time is it? It's almost 8 o'clock. I'll do this in the morning. All right, so these are the two random colors Ethan picked last night. Weirdly, they were both purple. And he said, put this over this. So this is my thumb. Kind of, it's a holographic, but it's got kind of a color shifting chrome effect. And then this one with the Hello Taco scattered, I think you picked, over it. And then I did a gel top because I slept in a little bit. I didn't have time to really let them dry. So they, bit, they pretty much look the same. Really, really close. What do you want for random like selection? It. So here's how these are faring. They seem fine. The white around the shark isn't quite as white. But that's okay because sharks are actually gray. And that gray's a little dark, I think. There we go. Woohoo! Fabulous! Yeah.